how are you supposed to know what the best shampoo is for your golden retriever to make sure that their coat is nice and shiny, soft, and smells good, and is safe for their skin? Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. I'm Alex, and this is Nala, and we're with Golden Hearts, and we're going to talk about four recommended shampoos for your golden. I think it's really important to make sure that the shampoo that you're using has clean, safe ingredients, and also leaves your dog with a shiny coat, smells good, and all nice and fluffy and soft. We want to make sure that whatever we are using is not going to leave their skin really dry and itchy because Goldens, we know, they have a lot of skin things going on and their skin can get irritated pretty quickly. First, we're going to talk about this Burt's Bees Dog Shampoo. And this one is actually the conditioner that they have as well. Not necessary. Make sure that you get the shampoo one. So let's go through some pros and cons. So this one has oatmeal and honey that really leaves your dog's skin feeling really moisturized. This one has clean ingredients, so you don't have to worry about checking to see if there's any in there that you need to avoid. And it says it right there in the bottle that it's 99.7% natural. So let's talk about some cons with this specific shampoo. Some people might think that it doesn't have a strong enough scent. Since this is a natural product, it's not going to lather up like a lot of other shampoos will. But know that it is still working. So if your dog has really dry, itchy skin, this product is going to be the one for you. Next up is this lavender oatmeal shampoo. This is going to deodorize your golden to make sure that they do smell really good, especially because of that lavender oil in there. The oatmeal is also gonna make sure that it moisturizes your dog's coat and skin. Again, this one does not contain any of the bad ingredients that you have to avoid, and this one is tearless. Let's talk about some cons with this one. So it is really thick, so it might be a little bit harder to get out of the bottle. Some dogs might have a reaction to that lavender essential oil that's in here. And then the last one, this is an eight ounce bottle, so it is in a smaller bottle compared to a lot of the other shampoos. So if you want a really great smelling dog, this is the product for you. Next up is another Burt's Bees product, and this is actually a two-in-one tearless shampoo and conditioner for puppies. So this is going to be gentle enough for puppies' coat and skin. Again, it does not contain any of the bad ingredients that you have to avoid. It's tearless, so it's not going to bother your puppy's eyes. And it's a two-in-one, so you get the shampoo and the conditioner. But if you have a really stinky puppy, this might be a little bit too gentle. And then the last one that I'm going to talk about is the Vets Best Flea and Tick Shampoo. So this is an advanced strength formula. So this isn't something you're going to want to use every single time you bathe your dog. I use this <laughs> with Nala when she had fleas and it actually really worked well, killed them right away. So if you have that kind of situation going on, this is the one that I would recommend. It also is <laughs> a clean, natural formula, so it's safe for your dogs. It does have an essential oil smell to it, so it has rosemary and peppermint oil, so your dog might be sensitive to that. She doesn't seem to really mind it, and it does make her smell really good afterward. So it kind of works out. Okay, so overall, if you have a puppy, make sure that you get a gentle shampoo. If your dog has dry, itchy skin, make sure that you get something that has like oatmeal that's really moisturizing for their skin. If they have fleas or ticks, maybe use the Vets Best shampoo. Or if you just have a normal situation and your dog just needs to be cleaned and smell good, then use a deodorizing shampoo. Some of those ingredients that are good for moisturizing and soothing their skin are going to be vitamin E, oatmeal, aloe vera, and almond oil. And if you're going to bathe your golden more than once a month, you might want to go ahead and do something that's the two-in-one shampoo. So here are the ingredients that you want to make sure that you avoid. Parabens, phosphates, sulfates, alcohol, and any added colors and fragrances. And lastly, tea tree oil. And on top of a really good shampoo and maybe a conditioner, make sure that you are brushing your golden and also giving them really high quality food. Dogs and humans have a different pH balance to them, so I would not use your own shampoo on your golden. Have you already used any of these shampoos that I talked about today? If so, make sure that you leave a comment and let us know how it worked. And if there are any other shampoos that you have used that have been really effective, make sure you leave that below in the comments, help all the other dog parents out. Don't worry, we're gonna make sure that we put all of the things that I talked about today in the description below. If you felt this was helpful, make sure that you give this video a like. Again, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, but wait, don't go anywhere. Keep watching so that you can watch the video that talks about the best brushes for your golden. And if you want to learn more if a golden is right for you, then go ahead and click the quiz above. And remember, never take your golden retriever for granted and always check for holes in your poop bags.